As of version 23.1, our .NET MAUI data grid control and collection view include APIs that allow you to implement CRUD views and customize their appearance. In this video, we will show you how to enable built-in CRUD views. Then, we will enable validation in editors and validate data when saving changes to ensure that database constraints are not violated, there are no save errors, and data is consistent. As an example, I'll use a .NET MAUI project that includes a collection view bound to a SQLite database with Entity Framework Core. You can find the link to the resulting GitHub example in the description below. Our data grid and collection view controls include commands that display built-in CRUD views. All you need to do is call the command to open a view without the need to implement navigation between pages. We've already done this for you. You can call the show detail form command to display the item's detail view, show edit form command to display the item's edit view, and show detail new item form command to display the new item view. In the following steps, we'll customize these views. Let's add a fast action button that will navigate you to this view. In the contacts crud view.xaml file, add a simple button control with the command property set to the show detail new item form command. Click the fast action button in the bottom right corner to create a new item. Let's add a custom collection view items detail view. Create a page and name it Detail Info Page. On this page, add two toolbar items that will edit and remove the item. Bind the first toolbar items command property to the Edit Item command and the other toolbar item to the Delete Item command method. The application will display a dialog when you click the Remove Toolbar Item. To do this, go to the code behind file and define the Delete Item Click method. In this method, open the DX pop-up control that prompts the user to confirm the deletion. If the user clicks the OK button, call the Detail Edit Form View Model Delete method to delete the item from the database. Collection view passes the detail form view model object to the detail views binding context. This object contains the item itself and commands that edit or remove the item. Define label and image controls that display the context information. Bind the images source property to the item.photo image source property and the labels text property to name, phone, email, company, city, address, and zip model properties. Set the detail form template property to the view we've created. Run the application and click the collection view item to open the detail view. As a customization, let's add quick action buttons that will perform actions on click. Message, call, and mail. Each of these buttons are bound to the corresponding command defined in the code behind. Click the collection view item to open the detail view. And as you can see, the detail view contains the contacts information and quick action buttons. Let's define a custom new item view. In this view, we'll use the data form view control that allows us to commit changes to the database on request and implement attribute and event-based data validation. Create a view called contact editing page, add the data form view control, and bind its data object property to the item object. In the toolbar items collection, add a toolbar item with the specified icon image source property and the command property set to the save item click. Set the data form view dot is auto generation enabled property to false and manually add the following editors for model properties. Data form text items for first name, last name, email, state, city, and address fields. Data form masked item for the home phone field, data form combo box item for the company field, and data form numeric item for the zip field. Go to the contact editing page.xaml.cs file and add the save item click command handler. In this handler, call the data form view.commit method to save the made changes to the item object and detail edit form view method to save changes to the database. 
Open the contacts CRUD view XAML file and specify the created view to the detail new item form template property. Run the application to see the result. While saving data to the database, an unexpected error may occur. In general, it may be caused by database constraints, an internet connection loss when saving directly to a remote database, or other errors. To make sure that data presented to a user is relevant and represents data in the database, handle the validate and save event. This event is raised when you try to save changes to the database. Let's create a new event handler for this event. In the handler, call the Entity Framework's save changes method in the try catch block. If an error occurs during saving, Entity Framework will raise an exception, we will catch it, and show an alert to inform the user. We will additionally set e.isValid to false to prevent collection view from applying invalid data to the displayed source. Otherwise, we save the changes to the database. Now let's modify the new item view to reuse it to edit an existing item. Go back to the contact editing page.xaml file and add the content page.trigger section with the data trigger. Bind the data trigger.binding property to the is new property of the detail edit form view model and set the data trigger.value property to true. Define the setter that will switch the page title depending on whether the page is used to create a new item or edit an existing one. Open the contacts CRUD view XAML file and specify this view in the detail edit form template property. You can see the contact editing page is opened if we click an existing collection view item and edit it or create an item. Data form view editors support attribute based and editor value validation. Let's implement both. The first validation type is basically adding the required attribute to the model property. As an example, I've marked the first name and last name properties with the required attribute. To validate the editor value, you can handle the data form view .validate property event. As an example, I validate the entered email value. Run the application to see the result. Let's create an item and leave the first name and email fields unspecified to see how validation works. And the data form view displays the error message when you try to save the item with an empty first name and invalid email address. And that's it for this video. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and please post any questions or comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you can get notified whenever we release new content. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.